beautiful people you're welcome back to the channel let me shift this backward a little i hope i'm not destroying things here yep. okay maybe it gets better i don't know beautiful people you're welcome back to the channel my name is Odun Ayo and if today is your first time on this channel you are welcome sorry i'm folding my legs i'm just trying to relax <laughs> this is going to be a form of chit chat nothing serious nothing serious at all i've been filming filming for the past few days i film content about women's health in case you don't know i make content about women's health how to ensure that we live healthy each day things that has to do with women generally our hygiene period whatever fertility a little bit of it sometime that's what i do but today i want to talk about battling cysts i've made a couple of videos before about battling cysts i'll leave the playlist somewhere here here or here i'll leave the playlist there and then you can go and watch it uh i made a couple of videos about patulinsis but today i want to talk about strange things though strange things that people say about patulinsis things that are not right sometimes even people come to my comment section some person send me personal messages and about discrimination and stigmatization regarding battling cyst what battling cyst is not i, I won't really call is it myths or maybe there are myths and misconceptions about battling cyst and the reason why i'm also doing this because recently i there's a group on facebook that i'm a part of of um, women or people who are dealing with this condition and then somebody wrote on the group recently talking about what she experienced with her gynecologist with a doctor you know about batulinsis instead of getting her treatment and all the way she was treated and i just said let us come and have this discussion she wrote it here she said um i'll read it so then we can discuss and then there is some other things that i've heard she said I'm feeling thankful for this community and um okay, my mic is off. She said I'm feeling thankful for this community and your responses. I would look into changing my doctor and clinics. Of course she had written earlier and people told her to change. She now said asked a question. She said, Can I just check if battling cyst or abscess is reoccurring? Does any of your doctors suspect it is HIV or EPIs? Because my doctor told me my trigger might be shaving, but also some other doctors were quite judgmental and told me to run some tests, which all came back negative. And these tests, of course, were HIV, EPIs, and all. And I said, none of my family members had this. So I am wondering if it is hereditary or I'm just unlucky or this is just a common occurrence for sexually active women. And I really love this because it encompasses all the myths and misconceptions of Papatulin cysts. Number one that I've known is that people say Batulin cyst occurs or one of the causes of Batulin cysts is sexually transmitted infection. And this doctor could be so mean to even say HIV. What is the correlation between battling cysts and HIV? Or probably I should just make a separate video talking about causes of battling cysts. If you want that video, you can let me know in the comment section. Then I can really talk about battling cysts, the causes and all. Again, I made a video about it earlier, but almost three years ago. And I would really, really love to update it. So it's um it is not STI. It is never uh, battling cysts and sexually transmitted infections are way apart. The only thing is because due to the location of battling cysts, when the cyst starts to form, if there's any infection going on down there, the cysts will definitely get infected and then 
you get abscess that is the only reason why infection you cannot really take infection out of Bartholin cyst if your Bartholin cyst becomes abscessed then that means there's an infection going back there at least an organism has been able to penetrate into that cyst and then the cyst is infected now the because there are a lot of natural flora and a lot of things going on down there Anything can affect it. It could be bacteria, vaginosis, it could be even yeast, it could be infected by anything. So that is why some will be infected, you will open it up and it will just be pure fluid, some will come with gray substance, some will be brown, some will smell, some will not smell because it depends on the kind of infection or what has gotten it abscessed okay so but herbs and hiv and all no but only this is not caused by all those things and it is not even a pointer that you have those things and then it says because my doctor told me my trigger might be shaving my dear no Shaving it not, will not trigger batulinsis. The fact that you shave, which is the second one, shaving or removing hair, waxing or so. A lot of people shave, a lot of people wax and they don't come down with batulinsis. Batulinsis comes when your batulin gland is clogged. If when you shave, you get to injure your batulin gland, which of course is inside. I don't know how you would shave to that extent because there's no hair even growing there. But paraventure accidentally, maybe the chemical you use and all burnt that gland, then maybe, but it will be very rare. It would be a, it's a very rare occurrence anyway. Although we can't really tell, but it could not be your trigger. If you keep getting batulin cysts and it's reoccurring, no, that is not your trigger. And then now says that um it says you should run some tests good this is the very good part when someone presents patronin says it is good to run some tests so that you would know the right antibiotic to give if there is an infection so that the patronin cyst does not get infected and they become abscessed so it's good that you are running a test and then this person says none of my family has ever had it blah 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 blah, blah. it is not hereditary Bartholin cyst is not hereditary. If anything happens and your Bartholin gland gets clogged, then you have Bartholin cyst. It does not have to be my mommy had it, my sister had it, my brother. I have Bartholin cyst and I've never had any record of somebody dealing with Bartholin cyst before in my family. But is this just a common occurrence for sexually active women? Yeah. Nope. You don't have to be sexually active for you to have Bartholin cysts. Now, being sexually active might increase your hold of having Bartholin cysts, but no, it is not. It is not. You don't, because the reason why it might even increase your heart is because if you're, if while maybe you are active or you are being intimate with your partner and then you get so rough and then you get injured, at the opening of the gland now while it's trying to heal up the opening sealed up then your gland might become inflamed and all the cysts might form but being sexually active people who are menopausal who have even who are menopausal have had issues of battling cysts battling gland being clogged because battling gland produces the fluid that gets your lady part wet or that makes it moist so the fact that you are you have entered menopause does not mean that that place would still not produce fluid it might be limited it might not be as much as when uh, as premenopausal but also menopausal women get that fluid and then they can also come down with battling cysts young girls who are not sexually active have also come down with battling cysts i have one that we are currently talking i mean i would even go to our chat and read it and just pick out not really divulge your information but pick out the main thing that we might want to learn from there are a lot of things that people say that are wrong they are saying oh your age some says oh you can you are not expected to have it you are not supposed to have it i think that was the issue with that girl let me quickly go and read the response from her doctor when she spoke to her doctor she spoke to me and then she said my doctor said yes what her doctor said, he said, but she said, like, you are too young to be treating this. Not even you are too young to have this. You are too young to be treating this. So she's too young to get treatment. This doctor just did not treat her. 
Yes, he says you are too young to treat this. Let's see after you get married. This is a 23 year old girl. Then let's see after you get married. So after she gets married, then she can come and start treatment. I don't even know. Some people are just they are just out of it. One major advice that I would give is if you are with healthcare professional, your doctor is not giving you the right answer, it's just not helping your situation, please. Please and please deem it fit to just leave. Leave and go and talk to somebody else, go to another doctor. This is what I told her. I said this response does not give any solution to what you have. Neither does it confirm that you even have a Bartolin cyst. So please see another doctor. This doctor refused to give her diagnosis and has refused to give her treatment because of her age and because she's not sexually active. Those things are wrong. They are wrong things, misconceptions and all that I've heard about Bartolin cyst. Let me also check. Some Sometimes I document all these things. Let me see if there's any other one. I said, go ahead. They said, you have STI, you can be HIV, you are too young, you are not sexually active. And a lot of things that people say, but above all, if the service that your healthcare provider is giving to you is not satisfactory, you are not finding solution, they are not helping you, please change your doctor. Yes, change your doctor. And above all, I really hope and pray that we all get the relief that we want if you have watched this video thus far please ensure that you click the like button that is how you can help my channel and i'll be very grateful if you can do that for me click the like button and also subscribe to this channel and if you really want me to talk about the causes the true causes of battling face leave it in the comment section if there's any meat or any way you have been treated regarding battling that you do not like also let us know in the comment section and please take very good care of yourself see you some other time and bye bye